Welcome to the 69 News Netcast. I'm Joy Howe. If you weren't watching 69 News at noon, here's a bit of what you missed today. State police are looking for the man who injured his daughter's boyfriend after a shooting at a motel in Schuylkill County. WFMZ's Alexander Hogan has the details. We ran in there and shut the door and we were fine then. Lisa Mowry says she and her daughters took shelter in a room next door after seeing a man pry his way into a motel room before gunshots went off. It seemed like there was a fight, but it was a gunshot. The women work in the Motel 6 in West Mahanoy Township. Just minutes earlier, they tried checking on room 49. We went in to find out if they needed any kind of towels or anything like that, and um, they didn't answer. That's when officials say 40-year-old Donald Jenkins entered the room where his daughter and her boyfriend were staying for two nights. Seconds later, gunfire. It was fast, very fast. It took like... <laughs> Split second. It was quick. State police at Frackville say Jenkins tried to kill his daughter's boyfriend. According to paperwork, the victim was sitting on the far bed in the room when Jenkins entered and shot the boyfriend in the groin. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. First responders transported the victim to Geisinger Medical Center, Danville. Police say Jenkins of Shenandoah is still on the run after fleeing the scene in his vehicle. He's charged with criminal attempt to commit homicide, burglary, aggravated assault, and several related charges. Authorities in Monroe County are investigating a house explosion. It happened early this morning in the 3100 block of Mohawk Trail in the Pocono Farms development in Coolball Township. Fire officials say three sides of the home were blown off the foundation. Investigators believe the home was empty and they're now looking into what caused the explosion. Swastikas and other slurs were also seen painted on the garage of the home, but there's no word on whether that's related. A judge could hand down a ruling today on whether to dismiss part of the indictment against New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez. The Democrat is accused of taking bribes from a wealthy friend in exchange for his influence with government officials. But what's at issue is whether prosecutors can use what's called the stream of benefits theory to prove it. Defense attorneys argue that a Supreme Court decision made last year made that theory invalid. Prosecutors warned a dismissal would essentially legalize pay-to-play politics. Allentown emergency crews, volunteers, and residents mobilized for a massive rescue effort this weekend. It happened when dozens of cats were trapped in a smoke-filled home in the 1900 block of South Delaware Street Saturday night. Nobody was home at the time of the fire, but crews found at least 50 cats and a dog trapped inside the home. Several animals died at the scene and many others had to be euthanized. But witnesses say that the rescue was truly a community effort. I've never seen so many people together in the middle of the street trying to help animals, cats. It was really amazing. The Lehigh Valley County Animal Response Team took about a dozen cats to the sanctuary at Hoffsville and Fogelsville. They're being treated and could be up for adoption. For more local news, watch 69 News or get updates here at WFMZ.com. With the 69 News Netcast, I'm Joy Howe.